the European Artistic Gymnastics Championships, the 19th Championships of Europe in this year, packed with big gymnastics championships. Only presents herself to the judges. In this stage of the competition, she can do the same vault twice. It's the best one that counts, or she can change it. Yurchenko with full twist. Good flight off the top of the horse. Yes, got those legs nicely together. Just had to step back on the landing. Could have done with a shade more height. But she really traveled. And that's the sort of style you'd expect from the, fir the fifth best vaulter in the world at the championships at Bercy in Paris. And 9.85. I'm just looking through the scores through the whole of the first session. Stoic Chataya scored 9.725, but uh, in fact, Camelia Mindricel from Romania. So, but that's the best we've seen so far. And good flight again. Now, same vault, did she manage to squeeze just an extra few hundredths out of the judges? Yes, the landing was certainly more secure. Beautiful flight, just that one step back. Yulia Yurkina from Belarusia. One of the new countries. A teammate now of the great Svetlana Boginskia. Suddenly seeing New gymnasts coming out of the old Soviet Union because, of course, they've got five times as many gymnasts who can be competing. But there, 9.9, .9, and that is the highest mark that we've seen so far in the competition. Nobody achieved that in the whole of the first session. Somersault. Double cut back somersault. And that lovely extension in the slip leap. Just a little short on the landing from that double pike finish. But the whole exercise worked at tremendous pace. twist and then going into that double front somersault. The whip back, putting in the extra moves into the middle of the exercise and then the tuck back there. Tatiana Ignatova. Now she's still a Russian. 
for Chris Yutienko. Tatiana Ignatova, a very experienced competitor who will be able to come into her own in this competition, was getting pushed out of the Soviet team. That was her first vault. Very difficult to keep track of things in this form of competition. They have a separate warm-up arena adjacent to the, the main arena. Nine point seven seven five for Yerkina, nine point eight one two for Ignatova. That's safely in the bag, that can't be altered. So she can now go for the second vault. Hoping to improve it. Same vault. Now, did she get more height on that one? Well, the form was good. A little bit low again in the landing. We'll be back with the score in just a moment. Yurchenko again. You can tell the moment she's out. And a double twister, but she overbalanced sideways. She's got another go. Remember, it's just the best of the two that counts. Going for the two twists and not able to control the landing. On, there's one twist and there's the second. Falls over sideways, getting offline so easy to do when you bring in multiple twists on the flight off the top of the horse. Nine point eight three seven. Not reflecting the difficulty of the vault, but nevertheless, of course, she has been marked down for that landing. Really important for her chances that she gets it right this time. Oh, and that's better. Just a tiny little overbalance backwards. She corrected it well. But she got herself online and a really powerful thrust off the top of the apparatus. It's that tiny step backwards. My goodness, she pushed herself high, almost got too much upward movement and not enough length on the vault. But she certainly uh, made that one really move. And she scored 9.887. Moving up there. This is Randa Hadarian from Romania. Oh, and really landed that full in back out. Start somersault. The Romanians have left most of their top gymnasts at home preparing for the Olympics. Kojian, their number one seed here, and Hadarian, the second seed. No, Mirella Pasca. No, Christina Bondar. Oh, she's a 
very, very able floor worker, one's got to say that. Double tuck back to finish with three double somersaults in the routine. And Randa Darian showing that uh, Romanian gymnastics is still on a high. We have the full twist in the first somersault and the second one a tuck back. The whip back in the middle of that, adding in an extra whip back somersault and a flick flack. Started well with that 9.9. .9. A disaster for her. She really must have been harboring hopes of getting close to the medals before that. Started well on vault. And she's got lots and lots of difficulty in all her routines. Now she's got to gather herself. She knows that her quest for a medal in the all-around competition is gone. Look at the move she's got in there. And disappointment for me to that. A sympathetic little bit of reassurance from her coach. Sereneko, 9.817 for her first fault. And me to that can forget about the all around competition. Now she's got to concentrate on qualifying for the finals in the two pieces of apparatus that are left. Julia Yorkina, 9.775 for the first piece of apparatus. 9.775 on the floor. going for a handspring one and a half front I think it was meant to be in pike all the way through well no she very definitely tucked out of it and that must have been intentional started it in the pike but couldn't stop the rotation how many times have we seen that with a handspring front That vault has actually been upgraded in difficulty. They tend to get downgraded as more and more people do them, make them look easier, but people realize that was more difficult than it looked, and that's why it became unpopular. 9.6. Now she'll need a much better landing with this second one. Stuck the landing at least. Didn't look to me to have great flight off the apparatus, but controlled the landing beautifully, and I'm sure she'll score higher for that. Tatiana Ignatova. Hard to go on the asymmetric bars. Representing Russia, a true Russian. Oh. 
and that must have hurt but not nearly as much as the dent in her pride there she has hurt herself the discipline of these russian gymnasts so great that she's trying her utmost to hide it but she had to go away and just gather herself Yes, and uh, just got the release wrong. Took herself away from the bar on that Jaeger and couldn't make the recatch. Oh, and really coming to grief. And with only four pieces of apparatus, in the women's competition, it's even more difficult for them to come back. And that's certainly her right out of any hunt for the medals. Double pike and just over to the shade. Couldn't hold on. For Euler Yorkina. 19.512, her total after coming down to earth with a bump in every way. 8.8 her. Tatiana Lysenko onto the A-bars. Lovely flowing opening. Jaeger somersault. That one beautifully caught, really extended into it. And double front somersault inwards with half twist to finish with. Really packed the difficulty into that exercise, short but very concentrated. That's class work from Lysenko. A little half turn onto the bottom bar. Lovely shoot through and then up onto the top bar. <coughs> Into the under grasp. And there they're inward Double front somersault and then the half twist. 9.9 .9 her score. 19.787. So Lesenko. Oh, and that's a very big opening sequence. Huge risk there in that first move. Three front walkover. Covers that beautifully. She swung out sideways, but turned it into quite an elegant body movement. Well, a couple of mistakes, but uh, look at the look on her face. That tells you that she knows she got away with murder. That really was a very difficult opening run.
Um, Three pieces gone for her, 28.96. Tatiana Ignatova right down at 18.612 after coming to grief terribly on the A-bars. Oh, and it's really not her day. Round off back Somersault Mountain. She was all offline. Summer, back summer. Some might think that was just a forward roll. But again, that's one of those moves that is far more difficult on beam than on any other piece of apparatus. Well, she's being marked out of 9.5 and uh, another mistake or two in there. That was probably uh, the most positive section of our whole exercise. And 9.737 for the German girl, Aneta Potempa. Tatiana Lysenko for a new country, the Ukraine, to the beam, the leader of the competition so far. Oh, all wrong in there. She took. The enormous risk. In fact, for a moment, I thought she was going to bail out when she realized that the, uh, the mount was wrong. That's what she meant to continue doing. It was so positive when she did do it. But uh, Lesenko now being marked out of 9.5, and really one can say that her chances of a medal disappeared there and then. The rest of it was absolutely beautiful. But she went for that huge difficulty in the dismount. Look at it there, she was right off line. And it was all she could do, really, was to carry on, throw herself the back somersault, but to floor instead of to beam. The round off, back somersault. Now, if she can stay on, 
and uh, go through this one well. Adarian will be in the lead. Safely through the catch of. Good form there, and the double back lands it almost perfectly. So there's the new leader in the competition. Vanda Adarian. Just to remind you, there's a whole new session to go tonight, and uh, the countries really seed their gymnasts so that their best performers go in the last session. So even if she carries on this good form, through the last piece of apparatus, it's unlikely that uh, she's going to have enough to stay in the medals. 19.675 after two pieces. I think it's going to take an average of 9.8 plus to win. We'll be back. She's uh, behind Ludmila Stoichataya from uh, the Ukraine, who went, is still leading from that first group. She had to compete this morning and came through with a, title of, a total of 39.061. Sylvia Mitova. Oh, double layout back with punt front. Now that really is tumbling.